Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on the test automation obstacles, let's look at our next obstacle, which is known as the tough cookie. Now, what is this? So we have got kind of four text boxes, as you can see here. And then uh, the first edit box, uh, when you click on this, it reveals a random text. And this random text includes three large numbers. Okay, so here is the first number, here is the second one, and uh, here is the third one, right? Uh, what we need to do is we need to extract all these three numbers, and then we need to enter it one by one into each of these text boxes. So this is what uh, we need to do. Now keep in mind that this particular uh, text which is generated is random in nature. So uh, the numbers could be anything, right? Now, in order to automate this particular problem, we need to be able to extract text using regular expressions. Okay, so we have to use a regular expression and uh, there uh, we need to use something called a named group using which we can uh, buffer some parts of this particular expression using a random regex, okay? So let's see uh, how we can do this in Tosca. So coming back to our Tosca workspace, uh, the first step as always is to uh, scan the particular module. So we'll go to our obstacles. Here uh, we are going to scan a new application. And then uh, we are going to scan this particular page. So basically we need all the four text boxes. So uh, we are going to select all of these different controls. Okay, and then um, also I'm going to rename the module. Okay, and then I'm going to save this and then I'm going to close this. Okay, so now uh, going back to our test cases and the obstacles folder, let's create a new test case here and let's rename this, okay? And then I'm going to drag the module and add it here. Okay, so obviously the first step is to reveal the particular text or generate the random text. So for that, uh, we need to click here, right? So uh, we will do that so that uh, it's going to reveal or generate the text. So let's rename this particular test step as generate text, okay? And then uh, we are going to add the same module again to perform the remaining steps. Okay, so I'm going to add it here. And then uh, I'm going to say buffer results. Okay. Um, so the first step is to basically uh, buffer all the three numbers, right? So you cannot do it uh, step by step, like you buffer normal uh, values. Here, uh, as I said, we need to extract the text, uh, which is dynamic in nature, using some regular expressions, right? So for this, uh, we have to use a particular regular expression, which is little complex in nature. So I have written it down so that I don't make any mistakes. It's quite long, but I'm going to explain you this regex, uh, what I have written here, right? So let's expand this a little bit so that we can see this. Okay, so as you can see, this is the regex expression. And then inside this, okay, so this caret sign means uh, this is the starting of the expression and dollar means it's the end of the regex, right? So inside this, we have got the dot star, which will basically cover any particular uh, text, right? And then after that, uh, we have something called the named group, okay? So this named group, it consists of the buffer, okay? So this uh, angular brackets, number one, this is the buffer, okay? So this is where uh, the first number will be stored, okay? And the number you know, uh, the regex for that would be zero to nine. 
So all the digits between zero to nine, it could be any number, right? And then uh, uh, we are saying that there is more text. So we have put the plus sign. And then again, uh, dot star, as you can see here, so that uh, again, uh, it could consider any random text which is generated, okay? And then uh, for the second number, we have again got a named group, okay? So this named group is formed of two parts. So the first part is the buffer name and the second part is the expression, okay? So the expression is the dynamic part which needs to be buffered. So when this is buffered, it will be stored in this particular number two or whatever buffer name you provide. And the same we do for number three, okay? So this is how this whole uh, regular expression has been written so that it can buffer all the three randomly generated numbers and then it can store in this buffer names, okay? So this is a specialized named group uh, expression which is present in Tosca, okay? And this is how you can uh, use this to basically uh, extract dynamic parts of a string, and then you can save these values to different buffers. Now, once uh, we buffer this, then this problem becomes easier. Now we just need to enter uh, the buffer values into the respective text boxes, okay? So here uh, we will be using the expression simple buffer, and then I will be using number one. Okay, and then here uh, we will use number two. And in the third one, we will use number three. Okay, so this is how you can basically solve this automation problem. So once you write the random regex expression and then you can just uh, extract all the dynamic parts of that particular text and then you can store them in different buffers, okay? So now let's go back to the test case. Let's change the work state to completed and let's try and run this particular test case. Okay, so one important thing to note is whenever you are using uh, something like a named group, then the input action mode type is not supported, okay? So you can see here input is not supported for regex values, right? So what we need to do is we need to change the action mode here to verify. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. Okay, so as you can see, uh, now uh, it clicked on the first text box to reveal the randomly generated uh, text. And then from there, it extracted all the three large numbers and uh, it stored it into the buffers. And then it used that buffers to enter it into all the three different text boxes. And the automation problem was resolved, okay? So this is how you can use the regex and the named group to uh, solve these complex uh, automation problems where you have to use some random regular expressions and you also need to buffer different dynamic values from a randomly generated text. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.